right, and we are live with, uh, I was about to say the 26th episode of the Game Session Podcast. Uh, <laughs> all right, and we are um, live with, oh, whoops, uh, I was about to say the 26th episode of the Game echo. Session Podcast. There we go. That is gone. <laughs> Not even an echo, it's a replay from the uh, browser. Forgot to mute that. Let's see, let's get that going, and this, oh, we need to swap the display capture. Okay. And there we go. Good to go. So, yes, this is not the 26th episode of the Game Session Podcast. Um, we had some scheduling conflicts today. People got busy. People are tired. That's okay. People get tired. That's a natural part of being human. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just going to, going to continue play some of the Halo 3 campaign. I feel very old because this game is uh, 14... Well, it's going to be 14 years old uh, in, I believe, November. And it does not feel like it's that old because it feels like yesterday I just picked this up in freaking high school. Damn, it has been 14 years. That is crazy. I, I don't want to think about that. That's not good. Because, yeah, 2007 plus 4, that's 2011, then 10, yep. 14 years, unfortunately. Grab that. Oh, you know what? Shoot. I would like to grab that skull. Yeah, we... We are old. Oh, I already missed it. The, um... Actually, no. Let's restart the mission, because I want to try to get that skull. And, like, this is, like, the one... And maybe only game, like, I actively cared about, like, finding, like, every tiny little Easter egg in. The flood. Um, like, I was obsessive the about the skulls. I, I don't think I remember, like, the Find order the to do the, um, Halo rings on the Covenant the level. Just because, like, that's kind of obscure. There we go. Oh, wait. I think I did it too early. The skull's still trapped up there. That's okay. Yeah, we are... We are getting old. 27 this year. <laughs> Holy shit, it does not feel like it. Damn. Feeling the anxiety rush through me. It's okay though. I'm happy. I'm in a good place. Oh. Uh, Did we save any of them? No, probably not. They're all good. Shoot. I was playing Titanfall 2 last night, the multiplayer, with a buddy of mine. And it's very confusing jumping from Halo to Titanfall 2 because the, at least for the default keyboard settings, uh, the, the melee and grenades are completely swapped, so it's going to take me a second to get used to it. I believe there's a Marine here we can save. Oh, no, he just exploded. Oh, shit, forgot the about the camera. Give me one moment. There we go. I forgot to do the one little bonus thing I'm supposed to do with it. That is the curse of using a DSLR. I see. see how am I looking, okay? That should be that should be fine. Alright. Back to it. The um Covenant is not Covenant, I'm sorry, the, the flood is significantly easier in Halo 3. Like this is the easiest they've ever been. In a Halo game. I mean, unless you want to count something like Halo Wars, but whatever. Baseline Halo games, easiest they've been. You can uh, explode them just by punching them. You can get rid of the bodies too, so they can't respawn from the pod. Or a pod can't survive. Gets inside you. Shoots you up. We gotta get out of here. Hey Arbiter, nice of you to actually show up. 
Yeah, Halo 1 and 2 mailing any kind of flood was just bad news. And there's a, just a straight up flood form in here that's the easiest way to take it down is melee. Like, don't even bother uh, pumping bullets in it if you can help it. Man, I, I cannot wait for Halo Infinite. I am very, very ready for Halo Infinite. It's going to be freaking amazing. Like, even if it just turns out to be, like, just another Halo game or whatever, I'm I'm okay with that. I just I just want more Halo in my life. Chief, I can't trust you at any level. It's not safe. The Grave Mind, it knows how to do Like, obviously, I'd want... Um, Halo Infinite be like as amazing as it could possibly be. I like I have high expectations, but at the bare minimum, I know they they know how to make a shooter that's fun to play. So at least we're gonna get that. Okay. Freaking love spike grenades. Sergeant, Toss in a bubble shield with, um, yeah, if an enemy puts a bubble shield, you put spike grenade. All those spikes just get stuck in that I tiny little area, and it's just a, it's a grinder at that point. <laughs> this marine's freaking out. Nope. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to swap my weapons, and I just freaking punched his head off. Okay. That uh, was not cool of me, I apologize. Hail humans and take heed. This is the carrier, Shadow of Intent. Clear this sector while we deal with the flood. Alright, let's see if we can actually. Oh god, I did not mean to do that. I am so used to shift in most first-person shooters being the sprint button, um, no sprint in Halo 3, instead is your equipment button, so, we see a lot of equipment accidentally being used, that is exactly why. Right. Like, typically I would maybe go out of my way to change those key bindings, but, uh, PC version of MCC has some weird bugs and glitches where if you try to change the settings between the separate Halo games in here, it gets all funky. It's ultimately not worth messing with it to me. Let's see. Um, they don't bother wasting ammo on their pods. Just let them do their exploding shit. Turn, buddy. Yeah, Master Chief finally went to the gym and he just smashed these guys apart. About damn time, too. Man, this gameplay so fucking nice in the mess. Wrong button for grenades. Battle rifle ammo, toss that. And I am officially out of ammo. That is not great. Here. Here. We have a shotgun, that's pretty good for taking these guys out. Shoot. Get uh, punch these guys while they're... Oh, damn it, they already evolved or whatever. Good. Oh, I'm freaking making a beeline for that elite. Damn, 
these guys are not dying. What did he do? Run into a corner? Ran into a corner and died. Let's see if I can oops, attach that. Most of them down this way. Accurate at long range. That's okay, Hurry, yeah. demon! Let me seek the same prize. But our ship master will sacrifice all to stop the smoke. By the rings, it is a nightmare made flesh. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> love these elites. Oh, uh, they just like oh, damn it. Smack my elite friend. There we go. Eat. There we go. And I just love this game so much. Oh, finally got a their battle rifle. It's just giving us plenty of shotgun ammo, which I am more than happy to have. I shall remain oh, here. yeah. And we'll let nothing pass. <laughs> Going through this level on Legendary is such a ginormous pain in the ass. I don't envy anyone doing that, to be honest. Do not be afraid. I am peace. I am salvation. I don't believe you, Mr. Gravemind. I accidentally put that. It's not like we're going to need any more weapons for the rest of this anyway, so. Yeah, it looks all nice and pussy in here. You can actually spawn more flood if you uh, shoot this out, too. Don't know why you would. But you can do it. Dude. A whole bunch of them. Oh no, no, I can't even fight back. Join your voice. Yeah, I guess you can't shoot. And sing victory everlasting. Huh, guess I got bored with me. Or uh, do I not? Maybe there can only be so much on screen at a time. Shreve Cortana, there we go. Cortana. High charity. The prophet's holy city is on. Cortana. Hey, how's it going? My Spanish is very out of date. <laughs> I must act quickly before your construct suffers any further Wait. trauma. Leave her alone. If we do not take this device to a safe location, somewhere I can make repairs. On Halo, you tried to kill Cortana. You tried to kill me. Protocol dictated my response. She had the activation index, and you were going to destroy my installation. You did destroy my installation. Now I have only one function, to help you reclaim her, as I always should have done. Yeah, I'm not so good with Spanish, to be quite honest. I, I grew up in a Spanish-speaking household, but my... Uh... Neither of my parents deigned it necessary to uh, teach me Spanish. <laughs> so, that, that's my luck. Tried taking it in high school, got a D the first time, and then an F the second. But then I took Japanese in community college, I got like 105%, so... Don't know how that works. We'll try to comment with English. Perhaps hey, whatever's uh, comfortable with you. I can kind of like Chief, read between the lines, but hey, just appreciate you hanging out. On its way to Earth with an army of flood. I can't tell you everything. It's not safe. The grave mind. It knows I'm in the system. 
It's just a message. Let it play. But it doesn't know about the portal. Where it leads. On the other side, there's oh, a solution. thank you for the follow. A way to stop the flood. Much appreciated. Without firing the remaining halo rings. Oh! <laughs> I have sworn I had subtitles Dark. on. There isn't much time. I'm sorry. No matter, Oracle. Can I turn those on? Let's see. Video. We're never in the same place in most games. Uh, no. Audio. Nope. Gameplay. Accessibility. On. There we go. Save. There we go. Our fight is through the portal. With a brute Yeah, the even going group. back and reading the, um... Hate the Halo Forerunner saga books, um, the trilogy by well, Greg Bear gives a lot more context to the Forerunners and um, even some really interesting stuff specifically about 343 Filthy Spark, otherwise known as Chakas. And you, shipmaster, just glassed half a continent. Maybe the flood is all I should be worried about. One single flood spore can destroy a species. Were it not for the Arbiter's Council, I would have glassed your entire planet. Sir, with respect, Cortana has a... Uh, for this run, no. Not playing with any skulls. I used to be a little bit insane when I was playing this back in the day, trying to do uh, lasso runs, uh, classo runs, which is uh, all skulls on on Legendary, uh, both uh, single player and uh, co-op. That this is humanity's final stand. Here, at Earth, usually we go, didn't go too well for me to be honest. Every last man, woman, and child. If we stand our ground, we might just have a chance. No. If your construct is wrong, then the flood is already won. I'll find Cortana's solution, and I'll bring it back. Earth is all we have left. You trust Cortana that much, sir? Yes, sir. So this is either the best decision. You won't be trusting Cortana very much in uh, Halo well, 5, there, Chief. <laughs> Enjoy I've it while it lasts. Long enough to find out which. I will say the one thing that I wish, or I guess one reason why I wish they would do a remaster of Halo 3 specifically, is because some of the uh, human characters have a bit of potato face syndrome. <laughs> Like the enemies in Covenant, they, they still look pretty good. Man, this was so epic when I was playing it the first time. Just like, oh yeah, it's, a, it's the, uh, the elites and the uh, UNSC like teaming up. This is so cool because... I don't know, I just grew up like liking dinosaurs and I was playing the original Halo, I'm like, well these guys look like dinosaurs, I like them, even if they're the bad genocidal fucking monsters, it's a big old weird thing. Point being, elites look cool, happy they're your teammates in this game. They're your comrades. I don't know if they, uh, if they're Marxists or anything, but they're most definitely comrades. Uh, that Inquisitor was a crack. He no longer remembered it that way, if not all golden in the five. That is a nice looking JPEG. <laughs> Group ships, staggered line. Chipmaster, they outnumber us three to one. Then it is an even fight. I love even, even seeing all these cutscenes back in context just because I'm in a couple um, Halo Gosh, Facebook groups. It's just like meme attack. groups uh, shit posting. That, I We're think it's him. called grunt posting on. on Facebook. Um, they, they just take a lot of scenes out of context just to make like meme formats and it's, it's beautiful for that.
They just constantly find a way to re-upping themselves in terms of, uh... Well, we, we have one killer, um... Halo station that can wipe out all life with, within whatever amount of radius. Um, then Halo 2 is like, it's literally another Halo. And then Halo 3 is like, what if we give the master control station to all the Halos? Just like, constantly re-upping. Kind of hard to... They kind of upped it a bit in 5. Maybe less efficient, but more... Fascistic, that's for damn sure. Rings, so we land right back to it. Priority one, secure a landing zone for the commander's frigate. We'll keep your eyes and ears open. We need all the intel we can get. Wherever the hell we are. Stand two, Marines. Hoorah! None of these no, Marines no, no. are gonna last. <laughs> They're gonna die horrible deaths. See. Check it out in the sky. Is that? Hey, focus. We got a job to do. But oh no, it's not up there. I have not played this in a while. Yeah. Um, Bungie always puts an incredible amount of care, just like in the sky boxes and distance, just like help build the awe of it. Because even look in the distance, there is one of the um. What word do you want to use? One of the arms of the arc, just pointing that direction. You can look elsewhere and see the other ones. Well, we're kind of far, but you know what I mean. It's cool to see that stuff in the background. Chief, eyes on. Unfortunately, Bungie's not very good with subtitles in the middle of a game. They don't pop up unless it's a cutscene, so. You take the first shot. Not much of a silent sniper operation here, but let's go. Damn it. That was messier than it should have been. Alright. Great shot! Shoot, shoot, shoot. What the heck happened? You just throw a lucky grenade? No more brutes down there, right? There we go. All gone. Oh, reload that so we can at least get that extra bullet. Am I still alive? Really? It's just, <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> uh oh, I love the banter of the Marines. Like, yes, Marine, you, you are alive. Somehow, you survived. I don't know how, but you did. Oh shoot, there's uh... Oh, there's one up here, I think. Oh no, over here. Stick! How was work? Uh, work was pretty okay. Definitely worked early. Got off early. I kind of love working morning shifts, even if sometimes, like, I definitely don't like waking up in the morning, but I like having the rest of the day off. Makes it easy to make plans and whatnot. Uh, today's definitely more lovely than yesterday. Yesterday was pretty cloudy, like, all around the Bay Area. Um, yeah, nice and sunny. It's nice to actually be, uh, well, I guess, like, even before, I would consider, like, May like a spring month, but we live in California and the after times, so we kind of skipped May. And I'm sorry, we didn't skip May. We're still in May. Uh, we skipped spring. We're just like dead ass in summer, so that kind of sucks. Like I kind of, um... So I'm going to Disneyland in two weeks, and part of me kind of wishes I was going... Um, like in the winter or the fall or something because it's probably going to be very, very hot there. It's going to be very sunny. I'm going to wear a lot of sunblock. 
Hey, combat vet. Yeah, this is uh, by far one of my favorite levels. I think it's also one of the longest to shit. I need to get it. And there we go. Yeah, straight up skip spring in summer. It's gonna be nice weather for, <laughs> for Disneyland, but it's gonna be very hot. Yeah, definitely one of my favorite levels in Halo 3. I think if I had to think like favorite Halo levels, like period, throughout the whole series, I'd, I'd probably have to stop and think about that. Definitely not gonna be the library from Halo 1, that's for sure. It's probably my least favorite. And I'm blind now. That's. He's in trouble. Here I come. Let's see if I can pop some of their shields. And I have no freaking ammo. Chief, I'm giving the brutes all I've got. But this is a sniper fight. ammo. But I don't really want to use it too much. Find me a place to set her down. Over. Oh yeah, Delta Halo is really good in Halo 2. Um, it is a long level. It's got tank stuff. It's going through like floating stations. You're taking transports like under the uh, the ocean, the sea, whatever you want to call it. It is. Yeah, Delta Halo is a great level. What's it called when you ODST drop onto the ring? Um, I don't know if there's like a technical term for it. I know there. I know like the nickname for them is like Hell Jumpers. Um, shoot, I don't know. Oh, shoot. Uh, maybe when we boot up uh, ODST, which is going to be the next game I go and play on here if we finish early this week. Um, maybe I'll elaborate on that. Oh, is, you meant if that's what the level's called, where you do that. Um, yeah, I believe that's that's the level. It's like one gigantic freaking level. It, it's it's pretty damn cool. <laughs> so, yeah, you start by dropping in. Um, you fight the little temple. You get the warthog. You just you have to activate the bridge. Then you get the tank. You go do some tank stuff. Take a platform, you go under the water, and then you it it is a huge level. It is it is insane. Like I know there's technically more levels in um, Halo 2 where you play as the Arbiter than the Chief. Um But Chief has has that level. That that's like three levels put together. It's it's insane. Shoot. Uh don't wanna get eaten by that thing. I want to get gulped. Uh, ish. Are we doing Devour today? You know what? We absolutely can. I don't really have to be to bed till like maybe 10.30 or so. Um, yeah. I, I'm down for whatever. Let's see, we started the stream at 6... 6.30. If you want to say like 8 or 8.30, I am totally down. We can even do a stream of it too, I guess. Oh, you know what? I need to check for ammo and whatnot. Yeah, that, that, um... Yeah, I don't want to hang on in the brute shot. Oh, you are... Okay, I think I'm actually good. Or rockets. Fuck it, rockets and sniper. <laughs> I'm be greedy with that. Oh, wait, don't you, don't you want to be on my turret, dude? Why are you in the mongoose? No. Get in the cool vehicle. Why are you in the little freaking ATV? Crap, okay. Um, I need to steal one of these then. There, oh, I blinded myself. That's not good. That's bad. That's bad. But at least I have a cool 
freaking uh, chopper. Why they never bother to bring these back in like literally any other Halo is beyond me. I love that you can splatter like any vehicle just by, I guess you can't splatter tanks, but you can, you can splatter like basically every other vehicle just by boosting into it. You can actually aim the thing right. Yeah, Devour sounds like a good time later. Gotta try that nightmare mode. I'm still surprised we managed to um, we managed to beat that second map, and I think on our second try, because I never even beat the the first level. The uh, the was it was it called farmhouse? Never beat that. Let's see, there we go. As long as you don't. Oh, <laughs> that did not go well. Uh, oh, well, thanks for stopping by, Combat Vet. Hope you have a uh, good day at work, my man. Yeah, we, we definitely got better. We got more coordinated with it just from practice. Shoot. It's like a game of chicken with these things. I feel kind of greedy with, um, I guess, with like the release schedule for Devour. Because now I'm just like, well, I want the third map now, even though it obviously took them like, you know, it's a small indie team just to make a second map. But I'm in love with it. It's just a good time for it to come out too, with like during the pandemic. There's, there's been a lot of games that have really flourished and brought a lot of people together. These grunts. Oh, is that another one? Eat. We got to get another freaking um, Among Us game going. I know I, I, I sent some vibes out on uh, on Twitter just to, like see who'd be interested, and I think once we got enough, either get like maybe like eight or just even like a full party of ten. I think that'd be pretty cool. So I haven't played on that new map all that much, to be honest. Help us fix troops location. Secure the LZ, then we'll push through that wall. Roger that. Follow my Falcon Chief. The LZ's this way. Freaking Corey's way too good of a liar. <laughs> that one among us. And he always gets away with it. I can always tell when it's him too, because he gets he gets a little bit quieter, his answers are definitely shorter to the point. Or he'll find like one person to like latch on to like back to like back him up as proof and Man, he's so freaking sneaky with it. I would like to think I'm a pretty decent liar, but I feel like I have a lot of tells that I will not be letting anybody know. <laughs> and then uh Man, you are you are a very very good wild card because you come like heavy swinging with the accusations and like sometimes it's like you're, you're the imposter you're just trying to get other people killed but then other times you th you're like pretty damn sure and then it's just a little bit off and man I love I love having you <laughs> in among us whoa why is my camera acting up that shouldn't be happening. The joys of trying to use a DSLR. I need to just like... Man, I, I have the money for it. I think I just need to get the exact same webcam that Corey uses. Come on. There we go. That should be fine. Uh, da, 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 da. Watch yourself! Got covered in heavy armor! 
Yeah, you get injection happy in that game. <laughs> oh, that's what I love playing with you. It keeps everything interesting. There was a, um, there's a Discord group I used to play with, and um, I guess the only reason why I don't play with them is just because like no one's or, or their particular schedule doesn't line up with mine because they're mostly East Coast, and then um, the person that runs it, she, she's a lovely person, lovely human being. Um, she's in the UK, so that that's even further off. <laughs> so like by the time I'm getting off work, like they're already kind of like wrapping up. I'm like, ah. Eh. I, 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 my schedule just doesn't line up. That's that's basically it. Yeah, you play, playing with a bunch of people who are like insanely good at Among Us, like that, that can definitely be fun. I feel like the most fun you can have is with a mixed group of people that are like experienced and like not experienced. That's what creates really interesting dynamics. So you think you're not the only one who jumped from there instead of turning around. Yeah, that I think that's the cool thing about this level in particular is that there's a lot of ways to go about it. Like, I think you can actually skip going to that uh, entrance. You can just, like, go straight here. I'm surprised I did not blow up. Fine. Uh, yeah. Nope, hit me. Why did I? I am so bad with accidentally tossing that crap. I really need to bind that to a different button. At least for Halo 3. There we go. Commander, bring her down. Roger that. Beginning my descent. This part is so stupidly hard on legendary. It mainly consists of like parking a chopper somewhere on the map and just like taking little pot shots over like a two minute span. Oh, too windy. Too windy. Ooh, leftover cake. That cake was so good yesterday. That was insanely good. And I'm, I'm not even a cake person. Usually I don't like like usually I don't like sugar, I don't like candy, I don't like chocolate, but that cake hit the spot. But it's surrounded by a brute heavy armor. Don't worry, I've got a plan. If we can't fly over the wall, we'll go right through it. Give me here, I will trade you. Give me your gun, Mr. Albino dude. Give me your weapon, soldier. I'm giving you a better weapon. Here. There we go. These marines are so... freaking rude. I, I'm, I'm trying to give them a good weapon. They just don't want to take it. Oh, but yeah. Go, go ahead and give your aunt my compliments. Because that, that was awesome. <laughs> Yeah, unlike Halo 1 and 2, uh, you can't control your own turret with this. The, um, the machine gun turret, that is. And honestly, the Halo 1 turret was so bad. It was so inaccurate. It was, it was basically useless most of the time. Let's see if we can kill this. I love that marine. Tank beats Hunter. Tank beats Tank. Tank. Yeah, he just goes on. Look at him go. Wait. 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 In a weird way, this actually makes you want to go back and play um, play Halo Wars. And like, I I am not good at RTSs whatsoever. I am not super well versed in that genre. But just controlling like an army of tanks makes me so insanely happy. It's it's so beautiful. It's like such an archetype of uh, right, or it's like general. I I I, I want to say it's it's fair to say a general noobish strategy in RTS games is to just not do anything for like the first thirty minutes, and then uh, 
just spend all your resources into like building your army and then just doing like one massive attack at the end like that is 100% my strategy because RTSs are not my thing. Yeah, tank speed everything, that phrase. I love it. And I mean, even especially here with Halo 3, they totally, uh... What's the expression I'm looking for? They doubled down on on the marine goofiness. Like, like there was definitely some in, um... There's definitely some in, like, Halo's 1 and 2, but, uh, like, they really ratcheted it up for here. And then Reach is definitely a lot more serious, so not, not as much. Uh, yes, I'm from the United States. I am born and raised in California. Specifically the Bay Area. Parents are both Mexican. Um, Mom was born here. My dad was technically born in Mexico and then moved here when he was a kid. So I am a... What would I be? What would I be considered? Would that be third generation on my on my mom's side, second generation on my dad? I don't, I don't know if that like has to like get multiplied and divided, but yeah, USA is basically all I know, and I don't. I can never get a straight answer out of my parents as to why they never taught me Spanish. They they. They spent a lot of time and effort trying to to uh, give me additional education growing up. Like, we, we went through, like, Hooked on Phonics so I could learn math and um, and just, like, grammar and whatnot. Like, they, they wanted me to be freaking smart. Um, they never bothered to teach me Spanish. I think some of it might come down to they dealt with a lot of racism in the area and they didn't necessarily want me to, to deal with that, but... I don't know. I I think it would have been very, very. I, no, let me let me let me back up. I think it would have been more beneficial to me in the long run to have learned Spanish than to just not knowing it at all because I don't have a lot of connections to some of the older folks in my family. Um, I, I just missed out on a lot. I'm such an outsider. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, Mexico, the place where nobody wants to live, and one minute you're from Mexico. I mean, Mexico can be a beautiful place. My my mom actually lives over there. She, after her and my dad got divorced, they uh, up, you got trouble. my my mom just kind of dipped over to Mexico. Um, yet to visit her over there. I've only been to Mexico once when I was a kid, when I was like six. Granted, the area that I visited in wasn't necessarily too great, but there's got to be some upsides to Mexico. Oh, you're using the translator for English right now. That's that's cool. I didn't know that was available like on the fly. And I really wish I could shoot this freaking gun myself, but I do not trust the Marines to drive. They are so bad. Oh, and let's just go to an upgrade to a tank. Uh, there is mortar fire, so let's hurry up. Oh, shoot. I have a lot of extended family over in Mexico that I am just totally unaware of. And I guess I can't even really communicate with them. Because my parents didn't teach me. And just like language is one of those things that is so much easier to teach as a second language when you're growing up as a kid. It is infinitely harder to learn as an adult. I've, I've tried. I have made an effort to learn back in high school, and it just did not click with me at all. Shoot, 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 shoot. shoot. Nope, I'm dead. Alright. Let's see if we can kill this Phantom. Maybe two more. I mean, it's already going away. It's totally, a, oh, totally exploding, though. Oh, 
Oh, okay, carry these rockets. Oh, don't crash into me. Oh, nope. So we gotta take out these legs. Oh, nope, 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 nope. nope. Alright, we brought it down. Uh, did I know if you jump into the river behind the scarab, they'll appear right and just dis disappear into the air and teleport to the next checkpoint? I did not know that, actually. I will have to try that sometime. Oh, don't, don't, no, 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 don't run me over. Please. Oh, come on. That is <laughs> oh, that went so horribly. I got stuck and. Man, that, that sucked. Horrible play on my part. Let's focus on this leg right here. Shoot. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Come on, come on. Let's see if I can get under it so he can't shoot me as much. There we go. Man, it seems a lot smaller than um, the first time you fight it. Maybe it's just the arena. So you're fighting it last time, there's a lot of verticality. Thank you for the advice. I am totally going to try that sometime. Yeet. Whoops. Right here, let's just punch this. And then... Oh, that didn't even. Oh no, I did do it. Okay. Um. Grab the tank. So it's this river over here. Nice. I think there's even some stuff over here. Like you have to get a grab. Um. Not bad, Spock. A grab lift in order to get the skull, the but I already have all of them. Lies in ruin. Find where the liar hides, so I may place my boot between his guns. We'll know soon enough, shipmaster. Get these guys out. Infantry on Don't the spire. Pop them up. Of course, it does nothing because I accidentally tossed it the wrong way. There we go. I have not used my rockets at all. Let's change that. Oh, I totally missed that. <laughs> Don't have that much ammo. Oh. It's going to swap for a carbine. Oh, shoot. There we go. Man, how long do you have to zap that thing before you can get in there? So, one rocket? Okay, that's not bad. Basically just a free insta-kill. Hey, what gives? It seems I've crossed the circuit. Well, let me have a look. <laughs> Oracle! Little bastard stung me! Well, hey, thanks for hanging out, man. Um... Yeah, we'll be moving on to ODST whenever I finish up this campaign. But, hey, thanks for hanging out, thanks for following, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. I'm so bad about accidentally using these. Let's see if we can get the uh, brute pissing over here. Yep. Freaking Metal Gear Solid status over here. Feel bad killing them while they're sleeping, but... It works. It works. See you, man. There we go. Total stealth run. I am generally bad at sneaking, but that was a very pro sneaky, pro strat, pro gamer move. Real capital G gamer status. Let's see if I can. Eat. 
kind of wish you could do like freaking drop kicks in here. Maybe I've been playing too much Dying Light, but I think every game should have a drop kick in it. You can quote me on that too. Oh shoot, there's a brute up there. If I can sneaky my way on and over. Nope. Oh shoot, where? Do they blow themselves up? I think so. Yeah, the skull's up there. I already got it. Big pain in the ass to get. Ooh, oh, I gave up the wrong weapon. That's not good. Shoot, ran out of ammo. You can barely carry any ammo for the brute shot. That's our galaxy. We're beyond the rim. Two to the 18th light years from galactic center, to be precise. What is this place? The Ark. This is the Ark? I had always assumed it was part of a shield. It's instead. not Noah's Ark, though. But it seems I was mistaken. That's a first. Not at all. While I had a complete understanding of Installation 04, my makers wisely limited my knowledge of all other strategic facilities. Compartmentalization. Let's see. No, I'm going to put that on Twitter. It should be exactly. legally mandated. Exactly. Here. And truth. For every game to feature a dropkick. The ability to dropkick dudes in the face. There we go. That is a 10 out of 10 sweep. That's gonna go down in the annals of history. Every game developer on this planet's gonna put a patch or update or just. Spark, move. Make make their newer games. Every game needs to have a needs to have the ability to drop to, to drop kick dudes in the face. Chief, you got a whole mess of hostile air inbound. Get back inside while we take them out. I keep accidentally using them. That's okay though. Okay, Jack. Oh, he's. <laughs> <laughs> One level down. Oh wait, no. I thought that was the armor. That's why I was laughing that he like tried to grab it, just got. That was the armor. That's why I was laughing that he like tried to grab it, just got. Picked out. Okay, I guess that's the Arbiter. And Treadsmog gear. I am personally not super big on, um, I like cosmetics in games, but I am absolutely the odd person out. And I recognize that, so yeah. Have Treadsmog for people that want it. I know sometimes you'll be playing, um, just like, even some kind of like random RPG. And like you're technically equipping all the stuff that's like the highest gear level, because you because you want to be as powerful as you can. But it's just like such a random mismatch of crap that you just look like a freaking homeless person or something. I'm trying to remember what game was like really bad about it. Shoot, I, what was it? Man, I don't remember. It, it always feels weird equipping stuff that's technically better, but ugly. <laughs> oh, we finally have incendiary grenades. Which, for whatever reason, are not in the multiplayer segment. Like, you, you can play, you can use them if you play, like, custom games or Forge, but um, they are not a part of, like, the base multiplayer. Uh, same, same for the Sentinel beam. I believe the quoted reason back in the day when I was on the Bungie.net forums, uh, they said it created like an issue with lag, particularly the Sentinel beam. But I don't know. Incendiary grenades, pretty freaking cool. That's all I'm saying. Hang tight, Chief. We're on our way. Shoot, there's a bunch of them here. Shoot! Oh, damn it! I was not paying attention. Let's, uh, eat! Damn it. Okay. Let's create a death trap. I uh, smashed the thing for it. Damn it. Shoot. 
There we go. Get the yeet hammer. Call the yeet hammer because it eats. Damn it. There we go. You're on fire. Yeet. And fire. <laughs> Who shows up as offline on Discord when they are indeed online? Uh, specific reason, uh, so I don't get Discord notifications when I'm streaming. That would be the reason. I guess I could technically put it on busy, but this is just more of a, uh, super busy status, I suppose. ETA damn quick! Stand by for pickup! Come here, Marine, I got, I got some yeets for you, my dude! <laughs> Oh, I am such an asshole for doing that. What what a shame. Yeah. Am I am I offline on Discord right now? I suppose so. Johnson, Oak Sharp. <laughs> Dead brute just it. hanging out in this cutscene. They need us no harm. Those units have a priority task. Oh yeah. And what might that be? I really can't say. Not for sure. But if you allow me to find a terminal closer to the Three four three is so full of shit right here. It's just like I don't know what they're doing. I I need to get more information. He knows what's going on. Well, he has like some clue. He doesn't fully know yet. I'm not calling you a liar. I'm just not necessarily validating your position as a truther. That's a very slippery slippery way of me saying that. Yeah, I guess. All right, the Covenant, name of the bad people in here, and also what is probably my favorite level in this entire game. It's it's pretty long, but it's very cool. <laughs> they're like, how do we make sure um, people can tell who the good Covenant are, the the elites? Let, let's literally dye our ship green. Like, wouldn't it be sneakier or stealthier to have these still painted purple and, like, try to, like, infiltrate the enemy lines? Or is that just, like, a general, like, agreed upon, like, rules of engagement for, like, armies? Just like, hey. Everyone just stick to your own colors. Let's not do any of this sneaky. Oh no, they, they still have like spies, but that's like its own separate thing. Like if you were on a battleground and everyone was like trying to dress up as like the enemy, it'd, it'd be very confusing. Jeez, that is a lot of enemies that way. Let's not do that. Let's flank. See if we can get this turret going. And this one too. Let's see, we still have what three more shots? Yeah. I know like going forward in Halo Reach, they decrease it from five shots to four. And stuff like the Spartan laser and um Sniper rifles are so much more deadly in uh, the PC version because you don't have to scope in for that. Like, the, like the lack of aim assist, not an issue. That's what kind of kept those weapons balanced in uh, the original release, or just even playing with the controller. Oh, he's already down. Let's eat. Go, Master Chief! Just freaking. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot you can just keep going. Hold position. I'm on my way. I am not playing with control. I'm playing mouse and keyboard, baby. I will beat the prophet shield like a drum. Plays damn beautifully with the mouse and keyboard. Oh, what the f dude? You almost. Oh! Spark believes truth can activate the rings at any time. If he does. I play with controller and and mouse, keyboard and and controller. 
simultaneously. Get to the first tower. Shut it down. Let's see. Oh, I might need to bring Marines with me so they can actually use the weapons out here. Shoot. Go. Come on. Join, join the winning team. There we go. Plus, this level just kind of reminds me of uh, Silent Cartographer from Halo 1. Just like the scenery, grabbing the Warthog, exploring the island. A lot more linear this time, but still pretty cool. Let's take out this turret. Yeet! Oh, oh, shit, 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 shit. That's not good. Get back in. Come on, take it up. Man, the, these AI are not great shots, even when they have a turret. Third tower in sight. Good. The Arbiter and the Elites have touched down at number two. Man, this game is beautiful. them over. Let's do some sniping, but let's take out these tanks. Please don't hit my Warthog. Did it hit my Warthog? No, it didn't. That is good. Let's take you out. And then grab Sniper. Yeah, this game's I don't know. It, it plays damn beautifully on either input method. Uh, in multiplayer, I would say maybe gamepad has a bit of an advantage when you're in uh, close to mid-range combat, just because the aim assist is freaking chef, chef's kiss perfection. I don't think it's necessarily unbalanced, like some people would say. There's a lot of uh, keyboard and mouse users that will kind of bitch and moan about it. But when it comes to long range stuff, when it comes to snipers and freaking Spartan lasers and whatnot, it mouse has a freaking mile advantage. There's no real denying that. Hey Nitro, how's it going, man? I, I know I'm always having a good day whenever I get to speak to you. I, I enjoy our Yakuza talks. I just. I think I think in particular, even when I see you posting in the uh, SGGC Discord, I am. Oh, oh! No. <laughs> I crashed that tower. horribly. Um, yeah, just just seeing people's passion and like even yours in particular for Yakuza, it's it's really heartwarming, and I I can't wait for you to get into the rest of the series. Get inside that tower. Take it down. This man, like a dragon, has some. Completely insane stuff. Like, like each game just manages to get even crazier and crazier. Oh, look at that. See, marveling at what immensely twisted people the Yakuza Zero Riders are when Kiryu and Nishiki talk about being best for us. <laughs> like, whenever people ask me what what game they should play first, part of me wants to say. Because, like, because I think, like, people's go to answer is, like, oh, just start with Zero. It, it's the perfect entry point. You don't need like any prior knowledge. Like I absolutely agree with that. Um, like having the knowledge of that, like Nishiki's the, the the villain of Yakuza One makes Zero a lot more tragic. And then even if you play one one before you go to Zero, and it's like you, you've seen all that stuff for yourself. So when you're playing Zero, you just have like this this pit of anxiety like sitting in your stomach just because you know exactly what's gonna happen you're like oh no this is my best friend for now but it's all gonna go to hell pretty soon someone using a jammer is there that many enemies i think there might just be that many Stick. i just love yakuza i am so glad i marathon that series You'd like to report you did the Brad Pitt burn after reading Dance on stream. 
will not be taking questions at this time. I have many questions about that. <laughs> I don't know if it's really fair for me to say I maybe if I marathon those games up because I played Zero. When did Zero come out? Like 2017? I think I played it like a year after, like maybe 2018 or so. I uh, really liked it. I played Kiwami when it went on PS Plus. I want to say 2019. Played Kiwami 2 when it went on Game Pass in 2020. Like I think I'm pretty sure we were already in pandemic, and then we were already in the after the before times period of 2020. Um, then yeah, like Yakuza 3 through. Six, I marathoned like back to back to back, and now I'm just kind of taking my time with uh, like a dragon. I'm really enjoying it. There's no way I'm gonna beat it before uh, Resident Evil Village drops on Thursday night, but I am so happy to be able to go back to it once I'm done. But Village just totally takes priority for me personally. Chief. Find Where's the tower other... controls and shut it down. There's another guy hiding, isn't there? No, I guess not. There we go. We did our job. We took this generator down. Good work, Chief. That's one. The Arbiter should be just about to... That's two. It's all up to Johnson's team now. Get back outside, Chief. Wait for transport. Johnson's Johnson, team didn't hit his in. thing. Over. Arbiter did his job. I did my job. I'm on my way. Johnson, fucking up, not doing his job. Everyone fall back. Sergeant Major. Johnson, and I keep using my power-ups preemptively because I'm trying to sprint, Chief, but there's no sprint. To link up with the Arbiter and proceed directly to the third tower. Make your way uh, back how do to I the fix beach. this? How do I fix this smooth brainness that I'm suffering from? Oh, 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 that dude got wasted. I'm on my way. Oh, shoot, forgot about you. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Get in, sir. Oh, thank you for bringing me the most useless kind of uh, freaking. Port hog over here. It's kind of with no turret. But you can seat a lot of people comfortably, so I guess at the end of the day, that's all that matters. There we go. All aboard. Anything's better than walking. That would be a pain in the ass to. You guys aren't even going to get in the warthog, you're just going to take mongooses? Why bring the transport warthog if you're not going to use the transport functionality? That's so lame. I, I feel very betrayed. I don't even know where my regular Warthog went. Did they just jack it while I was off doing shit in there? Let's try not to flip it. I'm totally gonna flip it. Oh, surprisingly not. Got a flight of birds that need an escort. There we go. The get those safely to the third tower. All right. How do I? All right. Here we okay. Go. I know how to go up. I know how to go down. Okay, I think I'm good. How do I lock on again? I just. Oh, they just do it automatically. Okay. You don't even have to like wait for like a like a countdown for lock on, you just kinda go for it. I remember this part being a big pain in the ass for some reason, but it's totally chill right now. Yeah, this is going by so much easier. Whoops, didn't mean to shoot the pelican. 
I wouldn't want to shoot the best uh, GameCube controller out there, known as the Pelican. Objective in sight, Commander. No sign of Johnson or his team. Come on, Banshee, go down. Chief, clear an LZ, then get inside and the tower. Phantom soon after. I think I took out its gun, so it can't even fight back. So this is this is just cruel. Oh, oh shoot, 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 shoot. Anti-air, anti-air. Oh, got an uh, achievement. Destroy three total phantoms on the covenants. Nice. These anti-air tanks are uh, pretty nasty. Shoot, there's uh, more stuff right there. Let's see if we those tanks. Or I guess like the equivalent of red barrels, except they're blue plasma barrels. Oh shoot, I didn't even know that was still up. Right, let's touch down. Oh, oh no! Friendly fire against my elite friend. I did not mean to do that. Forgive me. Eat. Oh, shoot, didn't mean to do that, but. There we go. Whoops, not the gun I wanted. Oh shoot, that is a lot. That is. Damn. These drones are gonna be really annoying if I don't take them out. Okay. Eat. Oh. <laughs> uh, totally would have crushed me. There we go. Some lucky sticks right there. Still good on ammo. That's nice. Oh, you guys made a mistake. Eat. <laughs> right on the face of that stick, too. Reload my other gun? Oh, I reload my second gun. You can't reload your. I guess they don't have that functionality. And, um. What the hell? Oh, you have to hold it. Okay. Yeah, because when, um. If you're using, like, a different control scheme for a controller to, like, make the games play a little bit more universally. Um, you can't technically reload your, your secondary weapon. Um, so I was worrying that was going to be the same case here, but you totally can. Go away, Invisid dude. Shoot. Get him while they're shimmering. There's a Needler over there, and I'm running out of ammo. Shoot. That's not good. This gun's not accurate at all. And I'm not going to be able to hit the invisible dudes with the Needler because it relies on tracking. Eat. Let's see if we can catch you on fire. There we go. Hit the switch, Chief, and the barrier will fall. 
guys didn't really give me too many options, to be honest. Smack that monkey booty. Clap them cheeks. Now, Prophet, your end has come. My charity. By the gods, brace for impact! Hi, Charity is all kinds of messed up after the uh, after the Grave Mine got his hands on it at the end of Halo 2. Granted, it's already pretty gnarly looking, like it was like half a planet with like some weird um, industrial mechanic freaking city stuff going on. It was it was weird. Okay, shoot. See, at least with the. Um, What's this weapon called? The Spiker. At least it has a really good uh, melee bonus because of the blades on it. Like, like brute weapons technically do slightly more than melee damage. Okay, let's actually get rid of the... Um, I will take that pistol, though. It's gonna be a lot better than this. Shipmaster, what's your status? Pretty. Significant damage. Go. We had a pistol. Disabled. There we Move go. Move to a safe distance. Stay away from the flood. Why would the parasite come here? The arc is out of range of all the active installations. Oh, so there's Priority. a little flood spore somewhere. This no. First, Guess we not. stop truth. Then we deal with the flood. Punch. Man, these things are gross. Come on, Arbiter. We can do this. Wait, how is this not counting as headshots right here? I'm not even- you're the one walking, literally walking into fire. That's- that's not my fault. That- that's a you problem, I bet. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. That. Oh, damn it. Run! I don't want to deal with these little spores. Take up too much time. Quickly, I must see to assess the damage to the arc. Let the me go with you. you. No nope. <laughs> I'll shoot, you drive! Uh, how's about I take the tank and the rest of you guys can buzz off? Shipmaster's carrier is out of commission, Chief. I need you to take down Truth. The flood's just going to put pressure on him and accelerate his plans. Punch through the cliffs. See, so you get can get one more Marine on here. Freaking albino dude coming up. There we go. I I am accepting of of the albinos. Nice to know we're going like negative five miles an hour though. Very polite of the mongoose to wait up for us. It's still funny seeing a freaking elite on the back of it. So comfortable with it, even though they've never used mongooses before. Mongoose, I suppose. Plural for goose. They're all dead. That's where they went. That is a nice tree. Citadel in sight. Boots are mobilizing everything they've got. These guys. And just to rephrase from the Marines' earlier comments, Tank does indeed beat everything. Let's see if we can take the scouts. I think there's another tank up here, a Wraith. Oh, that turret's still alive. No, it's just a ghost. 
man, I love this music. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, jeez, I already freaking pre fired around the corner. He's like, he's playing Siege. Do not fall off to the side, please. Do not, do not, do not, do not fall. There we go. Hornets inbound! Grab a hornet, I suppose. Technically, you can still take the tank and do the stuff, but with uh, two of these things we're about to fight, it's uh, very hard to dodge anything. It's back. See, that way you don't even have to get out of the freaking uh, hornet. Just do it like this. There we go. One scarab already down. Come on, just let me get behind you. It'll all be okay. I promise not to destroy you, Mr. Scarab. Concentrate your fire on number two. There we go. Now it doesn't have a save. Oh, apparently it can still shoot at me though. And now it can't, because it's about to die. Anything else alive? Some banshees. I think that's it. That went by so much faster than it usually does. So you can fire the rings. Stop truth from firing the rings. The flood scales the Citadel's far wall. Activate this bridge, Oracle. Oh, by my mind. Not that. Calamity! You say your hands, but it's not literally your hand that kills you. I love this soundtrack so much. Man, Halo just has a very special place in my, in my heart. Um, it's the game me and my cousin bonded over, and we, we played the crap out of this every single weekend. Well, at least Halo 1 and 2, we, we played like crazy together, just doing co-op campaign on the original Xbox. I need to use the restroom real quick. Chief, how close are you? Not close enough. <sighs> that the best you got. Oh, come on. Impress me. Stop! You imbecile! He wants you to kill him. I prefer that you do not. What's the matter? Big shot. Can't start your own party. That secret dies for the Hell yeah, Miranda being a badass. <laughs> Get out of here! Not without you. You delay the inevitable. Miranda definitely suffers a bit from potato face just from this being a 2007 360 game. Right. Do it. Me. Then you. Now. No. He did. Man, she's such a great freaking character too. 
I think I probably the like her arc a little bit better in Halo 2, just like as a commander. Steal themselves for what needed to be done. I don't think they even like very explicitly mention like her being. No, no, I think they do at the beginning of Halo 2, where they acknowledge that she's the doubt she's the uh, daughter of um, Commander Keys from the first game. But they don't even elaborate on the like the novel stuff where she is the daughter of well obviously Commander Keys and then um, Professor or Doctor uh, Halsey, which is a very very significant character in the lore and it's just not brought up. So every every like little piece of, like lore elaboration is like super um, what's the word I'm looking for po post humorous in that regard. Do oh. not shoot, but listen. Let me lead you safely to our foe. Only you can halt what he has set in motion. never gonna get better at it. I'm just gonna give up any facade. Yeah, uh, temporarily teaming up with the Flood. Very unique moment in, uh, in Halo. There's some slight stuff that you can read up in the, uh, in the 400 tri trilogy, yeah, the 400 trilogy specifically for parts where the Flood isn't necessarily constantly doing malicious stuff, but it's to an end, and Man, that that forerunner trilogy is really great in terms of like just like pure lore dumps, but it is a dry read. I I maybe wouldn't even necessarily recommend it to like just as like a fun novel because I don't think it's a fun read. It's it's a very dry read with good lore. Let's see, we use this up and I'll grab a carbine. <laughs> Oh, I just jetted off. That's awesome. Eat! Go. I could go back for that carbine, but I'm kind of lazy. Just keep you. Oh! There's one right here. Let's just keep doing some stickies. Oh, see? Proper usage of a shield. I, I can be smart once in a while. I've been known to do so. What the heck is this? Oh, invincibility. There we go. Works for me. Carbine ammo. And we're... Oh! oh. We're almost there. Punch. Punch. Popping all their little methane tanks off. Alright, Arbiter. Let's let's do this. Yeah, she she definitely did. There's no Thanks. illusion of her surviving that. Save the rest. Can you see, Arbiter? The moment of salvation is at hand. It will not last. Your kind never believe in the promise of the sacred ring. Lives for the weak, beacons for the deluded. I will have my revenge. On a prophet, on a plague. 
grave mine's already taken over. Tread the path. I shall become a god. You will be fooled. Nothing more. No! <laughs> grave mine's already fucking this dude over. Yeah, Keith David, there you go. That must have been very satisfying. I'm proud of you, buddy. Johnson's too sad. He can't... He can't even talk to us. That's how sad he is. And now he's just dipping without us. Not even talking about what the plan is. That's pretty rude. That is the best lie. Headstones pushed aside. Corpses shift and offer room. A fate you must abide. We trade one villain. Man, I love Keith David's voice, just in general. <laughs> yeah, who, who could have possibly seen that the, um... No way I can pick you up. Who could have possibly seen that the Flood would the betray lift. us as soon Find as we're... Or, as soon as our objectives don't align. <laughs> and technically, we don't really have to fight anyone. We just kind of have to get to the end of this uh, hallway that we started at. Oh, shoot. Um... That shotgun. It's gonna be useful. Or just let the orbiter just slash everything. That also works. Oh, I totally missed that. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm kind of glad that the flood has uh, stayed in the past for um, like like they haven't exist like the mainline series at least you know not counting Halo Wars two. Um, the flood has stayed. It has not gone past Halo three. Like that that battle has been fought. We have won that fight. So I feel like bringing them back would maybe like invalidate some of that victory, even though there's still lore reasons why they could still exist. I just like fighting Covenant more than I do enjoy fighting Flood. It was even weird with Reach at the time where there just was no Covenant because, you know, it's a prequel and humanity was not aware of the Flood. Don't have that much ammo in this shotgun. Let's see if I can just dip behind you. And yeet! Bye bye. That was a hell of a drop. What do you see? You seen spooky ghost waifu, dude. It's quite a sight. That is so weird. Arbor's like, this dude is tripping balls. This was such a cool moment seeing this for the first time. It's literally the first ring from uh, Halo 1. 
Well, no, it's like the exact same like freaking parts. It's it's being rebuilt. The ring you destroyed. Oh yeah, there, there you go. Replacement, not the same one. Just now, but I had my hopes. What will you do? Light it. Then we are agreed. A tactical pulse will completely eradicate the local infestation. I will personally oversee the final preparations, though it will take time to. How will you like it? I I really liked three four three when he was a human when he was Chalkus. Chalkus was a good dude. What, what, what was his um? What was his companion? I think Riser was the name. I haven't read the books in a while. Has a very pretty JPEG we're flying towards though. Ten out of ten. What would, would buy an NFT version of it? Now, time for what I probably consider the worst level in this game. Um, Cortana. The well, name of the level is Cortana. And this is by far the hardest level in the game if you're playing on Legendary. Uh, if you're going to play on Legendary, I recommend using the Plasma Rifle, which for some reason very good against Flood in Halo 3. Um, not so much in Halo 1 and 2, but Halo 3 specifically, pretty good. Let's see if there's any other weapons, because this is just what we had from the last mission. Very odd we're not really communicating with the greater UNSC efforts at the moment, we're just kind of going off and doing our thing, rescuing Cortana. One, two, I got one more shot. Make it count. I'd like to think that counted. How to go through these wall holes. Child of my oh yeah, this is gonna happen a whole bunch. Come. I offer no forgiveness. The father's sins has to his son. I gotta be honest, even when um Grave Minds talking like this, giving these very ominous speeches or monologues. Um, I don't know, the way my brain works whenever I'm engaging with pieces of media, I kind of automatically filter out, like, filler, and just go for, like, the core meaning of stuff. So, a lot of the uh, Grave Minds lines kind of don't necessarily mean too much to me in the grander scheme of things. He, he's just... It's insert uh, philosophical villainy uh, shit posting of some sort. Like I get the intent of it, basically. That's just my ADHD brain, though. That is too many floods. It just oh damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, we gotta back up. Don't let these little floods get me. There's too many. Normally you can take a couple. Or even a bunch, actually, but... Oh, damn it. Come on. Nope, you're not going. Oh, damn. <laughs> Freaking yeeted me in midair. Skeeted all over my dude. Actually, pretty efficient, I must say. Oh, shoot. Yeah, this is surprisingly efficient, I must say. Because I typically do not dual wield in uh, Halo games. 
Better just use uh, rifles and whatnot. I don't have any more ammo for this. Oh, there we go. Grab an assault rifle. We have grenades we should probably be using. Eat. Get punch. You kill, actually kill these guys in one hit with the punch. Before they tr Oh, no, come on, dip, dip, dip. I don't want to get shot. Don't get shot. I don't want to do this part again. Punch him. For whatever reason, punch him one time works. There's so many of these freaking crawling ones. There we go. Oh shoot. There's so many freaking flood just chilling around here. Insane. See if we can just get past some of them. Of course, you came for her. We exist together now. Two corpses in one grave. That is creepy. Thoughts and memories. You are going crazy, Cortana. Yes, perhaps a part of her remains. <laughs> Stop laughing so creepily. That's no good. Yeah, the Great Mind's able to corrupt um, artificial constructs. Um, I forget what they're. They're not called AIs in the in the Forerunner trilogy. They're called um, not constructs either. They're 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 Ancilla. That's what they're actually called. Ancilla is the AIs. Um, semantical difference. Different cultures refer to them as different things. You could basically chalk it up to that. Um, wait, what was I gonna say? Yeah, they're able to corrupt them. That's why stuff like Medicant Bias went a little loopy because the Grave Mind somehow got its creepy little uh, grubby hands on it. Eat, eat. Where the heck? Oh, jumping all over the place. They're still not freaking dead. Jesus. Stop jumping everywhere. Jeez, you are not dying. I am dumping so much ammo over that thing. Where is... Yeah, freaking carbine's not doing... Shit. Okay, let's see if I can get some grenades or just even get closer. Eat. Oh, gotta get closer. There we go. That works. Eat. Okay, running out of carbine. Explosions, punch. Should be a flamethrower over here, I think. Don't look at me. Don't listen. It's gonna be dangerous if you light someone on fire and they just keep running towards you. But let's see how far we can get. Because you can kill yourself with this quite easily. We're able to push towards them. Oh, 
Come on, I overheated. This is actually going pretty smoothly compared to how he usually does whenever I grab the flamethrower. Okay, run, 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 use invisibility. Come on, no. Shit. Oh, jeez. At least I'm getting plenty of ammo. Just by kind of going around shooting dudes, I suppose. taught me patience but asking in you freedom i will know all that i possess don't gotta be so aggressive about it this, this dude would be a horrible librarian freaking yelling at people about all the knowledge he has I, I would just hope that he has some fuel units and, and lamborghinis up in his hollywood hills Hey, you know what? We got grenades. Ah, oh, Dave, get off the walls. Wait, just slash you. There's another one crawling somewhere. There we go. There's so many. I don't like this. And he barely does any damage when you shoot him like that. Carbine doesn't do shit to him. Let's see, I gotta keep going up in circles around this place. Shoot. Yeah, this level is freaking insane on Legendary. I, I don't envy anyone trying to do it. I know I've done it. I don't envy myself. So let's cloak and sneak past a lot of these guys until we can get closer at least. Eat! <laughs> Gets a transform. Shoot, I'm running. Alrighty. Go. And come on, go through the hole. So glad I'm not playing I have the abyss. I have seen your future and I have learned. Submit! End her torment and my own! Alright, so in 10 minutes, we're gonna be swapping over to Devour. It is a survival horror game. It's also co-op, so we're going to be playing with uh, King Cory Bear and uh, Chai Bum, who is otherwise known as Ish. Because, yes. Beat. Come on. I'm surprised I still have sword energy, to be honest. I just sworn I went through all of it. game so much. Up over. Other than cloaking. 
case you don't feel like dealing with uh, going past dudes. You will show me what she hides, or I shall feast upon your bones. That's creepy, dude. Don't do that. Personalities getting mixed up with the uh, grave mines. All right, Cortana, let's get you out of there. You found me. I did. But so much of me is wrong. Out of place, you might be too late. You know me when I make a promise. You keep it. I do know how to pick them. Lucky me. Do you still have it? The activation index from the first Halo ring. Who would have thunk that would have still come in handy? I hung on to, just in case. Got an escape plan? Nope. Thought I'd try shooting my way out. Mix things up a little. Man, this game still looks just good. Pretty good remaster. Or, no, it's not even a remaster. It's literally like just up res because those existing textures are already pretty decent. Um, some minor stuff like the potato faces, but yeah. Um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and join a Discord call with um, Ori's crew so that way we can get some devour going. Let's see. Hopping into chat all right so we should be hearing Corey and the crew relatively soon but until then let's just go ahead and keep chief get me chugging out of along this place. i i don't want to stay this energy story is seriously lasting me like most of this level no. he's so close the secret is revealed! Oh, he is so pissed at us. He knows we're gonna do the Halo and try to wipe him out. He's so mad, he's so angry. We need to buy some time. This reactor, start a chain reaction. Destroy high charity. Shit. Okay, um... I'm gonna run out of sword energy real quick now, though. Here, the last legs. Hopefully, I can find another one. Eat. Oh, what the heck? Shoot! Why are you not dying? Right behind here for a quick second. Let's see, activate these. Oh shoot! Can... I'm not even gonna try to shoot you. My my gun's not gonna do jack crap. Or actually, let's work our way through. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Go around! Go around! Don't get shot! Don't get shot! Shoot! There's way too many. Let's get that. Get that. And there's that one also. We got some of these long range dudes. Shit's gonna be blown up soon. Should be one over there, I think. Oh! Shit. Let's 
There we go. Eat. Eat. One more swing. And now we're out of ammo. Such is such is the woe of a Master Chief, I suppose. Punch. Alright. Dip. Alright, we gotta dip now. Not necessarily a strict timer, but for all intents and purposes of making this seem more intense, we're gonna move post haste. Grab that sword. That way we can make some real forward momentum. There we go. Ah, uh, damn it. Ah, uh, this is where I think. Please don't shoot me. Shield. Out before I get close to him. Shit. Nope. Oh, I got four bullets. Okay. Surprisingly, doing work with the plasma rifle. One moment. That would be my cat wanting to enter the room. Because she is the. Of course, in like two seconds, she's gonna be crying to go out of the room. Because she is a cat, and that is what cats do is be very annoying. They're very good at it, too. A lot of explosions. I've got it's not even necessarily coming from the uh, gooey Who parts. Crazy enough to come in here? The fleshy parts, I should say, not gooey parts. Um, shoot. Don't have much ammo, so let's. Go for it. Oh, don't light me on fire, dude. No, 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 no. There we go. There we go. Alright, so we should be jumping in and devour soon, as soon as everyone else jumps into the Discord. Just kinda... Wait, did I jump in there? Yeah, I'm in there, okay. We are aboard. Humans and elites. Will you not come with us, brother? No. This is our fight. And I will see it finished. So yeah, the rest of UNSC is basically dipping at this point. Johnson, do you have the frigate? Yes, ma'am. 
I'll land her as close to the control room as I can. Safe is better than close, Sergeant Major. Roger that. Hey, ma'am. It's good to have you back. So yeah, we're, we're probably just going to save this for next time, because uh, it's kind of just based whenever anyone else jumps into the Discord, that way you can exactly jump over sure to um, to Devour. So I think for now, we're going to go play some Halo MCC multiplayer, so save and quit that.